Woo. It's hot today. I'm either complaining it's too cold or it's too hot. Well, I got a good head start on this system now. The 8020 came in on Thursday. Today's actually Tuesday. I'm hoping to get this video up today. The material came in 9 o'clock Thursday night. So Friday all day, Saturday all day, Sunday all day, I'm working on this floor system. The problem I had is that we were uh, 95 degrees uh, from the weather station, but I'm out in the bare sun here all day. So it had to be 100, 105 degrees here. I could not work more than a half hour at a time. Then I had to go in and cool off. It was rough. It was a hard, hard weekend just because of the weather. I could have banged this out in a day. That's normally how I do things. Here's how this works. This whole floor system is modular. It's done in sections. See this? This is a section. And I did that for a number of reasons. I designed a modular system of frame members, separate sections that can each be individually positioned and repositioned. Some of the advantages with this design are weight savings, easier to install, run wires and pipes, and any future alterations or repairs are smaller, easier, and less invasive. All the attachment points are positioned on the high ridges of the van floor. Another thing you can see is this water tank has to be secured. There's no 8020 under here. I just have my vinyl, which is wonderful by the way. And then for the water tank area, I just set my plywood down on the vinyl. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a holding lip for this tank. So this water tank is gonna sit inside this frame, inside and below the frame. And the rest of this tank will be held safely in place by my futon frame, which is yet to come. Once I finalized my layout, it was time to preload the 8020. Preloading is sliding in the correct number of bolts needed for that particular piece. It's important to plan ahead. You have to know exactly how many bolts are needed because once you've connected and tightened everything down, it's not so easy to add a bolt. You would need to undo all your hard work to gain access to that position. After experimenting with quarter 20 carriage bolts, I realized that quarter 20 hex bolts would do a better job. All I had to do was grind down one side of the bolt and use a little ATF to help them slide in. Another thing I like about this system, the way I've designed it is this area, for instance, is going to be underneath the refrigerator. You know, that whole wall, there's a feature wall right here alongside the rear of the futon. And my refrigerator is going to go here and then whatever storage is above it. But underneath the refrigerator is going to be my fan heat exchanger for my uh, heat. My S-bar heating system is going to be mounted in the back. So all of my plumbing lines, electrical, my battery box will be over there. My sub panel is going to be over here inside the wardrobe but anyway <clears throat> what I started to say was uh, I'm gonna have my air handler here this is a heat exchanger that's gonna blow hot air out into the van I may need this inch inch and a half uh, for additional height inside this compartment so that's the beauty of this system if I need that height all I got to do is come back and cut this and bring the crossbar into here then I've got all this area with additional depth if I need it. I'm going to take this whole build to fruition, then come back in to a certain degree and lock it all down. That way, if we need to tweak and move things along the way, some changes, unforeseen changes that occur, we're not getting burned. We're not saying, oh, we already installed this, we drilled all the... No. At the end, I'm going to make this whole system work. Okay, that was a test fit. Now we pull it apart and we do it for real, lock it all up. Once the framework was tuned and tightened, I removed it.
Yes, at 100 pounds each. These rolls were unruly. I think I got a hernia. But beyond that, this stuff is wonderful. It's easy to work with, it behaves during cuts, and it lays just as I thought it would. See those coffee cans holding my straight edge? Back in 1985, I filled those cans with concrete, stuck in an eye bolt nut washer assembly, and voila, 10 pound counterweights. They have served me well for decades. They help me in all kinds of situations. Shower area. Uh, as you can see, all I have is the heavy mass vinyl, which I'm going to tape, by the way. Once I put this down for real, I'll put some insulation tape on both sides of this and all along the perimeter. Then I'll have another sheet of 8020 uh, 80, 20, another sheet of mass vinyl on the wall here, but that's going to be on the back of my wall panel. Access, options, access, options. Anyway, shower area. This is going to be, it's just a little bit of a risky design move that I'm pulling here. You got your sink over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my, my shower pan right here, and I'm going to have it pitched to a drain. I'm thinking about putting in, I might put in a drain in each of the four corners of this area. And that way, even if the van's off level and you want your shower, the water's going to drain. Either that or one drain in the center and all four of these floor panels will pitch to that drain. And then of course you'll have teak boards across here in this, in this wet area, but the teak boards will be flush with my finished floor. My shower pan is going to have a nice skin that goes up the walls, flash in the, the walls so the water only goes to that drain. This is the only part where I'm a little worried because there's nothing to flash that water back towards the drain. Something tells me not to cut this away right now. I don't have an exact plan for this area other than a wide open step wide open view. I want to maintain this wide open view, but there's something that's, that's telling me, leave this extended out. You may be boxing it. You may be framing it. I think I got some ideas about putting something over there, a little workstation maybe. So this is going to stay where it is for now and we'll see where it goes. Something tells me not to cut this away. I don't. Every time I start a segment, the fire engine comes or the police. Cut. Try it again. <laughs> 